12th April 1961 was the first time a human space flight program was ever conducted by the Soviet Union, making their cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin the first ever human to travel into space. Only three nations have achieved that feat so far, Russia, the United States of America and China. Soon there will be another addition to the list. Hello, I'm Srishti Chaudhary, Science and Environment Journalist with CNN News 18. And in this section of ScienceWise, we'll bring you all the important details of India's biggest space dream, the Gaganyaan, and why the government is spending almost rupees 9,000 crore to send astronauts into space. Now, the Indian Space Research Organization has been nurturing this dream to send its astronauts into space for almost two decades. But the wait only got longer. The latest push came in 2018 when Prime Minister announced from the Red Fort that India will launch its astronauts into space in the 75th year of Indian independence, which was in 2022. But then came the pandemic and the project got delayed yet again. The ISRO chief has now confirmed that they are now eyeing a 2000, late 2024 launch for Gaganyaan. Now, the space agency has gone into space numerous times before. We have traveled as far as Mars and the Moon. But launching astronauts into space is going to be its biggest challenge altogether. And that is why uh, Mr. Somnath has been emphasizing again and again that they cannot and will not take chance on humans until they are completely sure of the success of the mission. So what's the plan? Now, the Gaganyan Advisory Council has recommended a series of test flights before the final mission. So we'll have test flights TV D1, D2, D3, D4 over the next two years followed by two unmanned missions into space, which will carry robotic payloads. The final flight will depend on the outcome of these test flights. Now, the space agency has finalized uh, GSLV Mark III, which is now known as LVM Mark III, as the rocket uh, for Gaganyaan. Uh, the rocket has been specially configured for the human rating requirements. And uh, Minister, Union Minister of State, Dr. Jitendra Singh, recently told the parliament that the rocket has already been tested and configured and uh, being validated for critical technologies. So everything uh, from uh, the crew escape system, the life support system would be tested in these test flights. So where are these astronauts now? Now the ISRO has finalized a list of astronauts who are being uh, trained at Bengaluru's uh, astronaut training facility for Gaganyaan. And the government has recently told Parliament that the first semester of training has already been completed and the second semester is currently on. Dr. Jitendra Singh also told the Parliament that the mission, uh, which has been delayed, is on high priority. Now, the space agency had recently conducted the safety test uh, for the parachutes, wherein a five-ton dummy mass equivalent to a crew module was taken to an altitude of 2.5 kilometers and then dropped using the Indian Air Force IL-76 aircraft. Now, the plan is to take uh, three astronauts uh, into an altitude of uh, about 400 kilometers from the Earth's surface into the low Earth orbit and bring them safely back to Earth after three days. Uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh also told the parliament that the mission is on high priority by the Department of Space. Now, the government has allocated rupees 9,000 crore for the entire mission Gaganyaan, and out of which rupees 3,000 crore have already been uh, spent. Now, let's try to understand why the government is spending so much of amount in uh, taking astronauts into space when uh, such an exercise can already be undertaken with the help of other nations. Now, uh, scientific di discovery is one, uh, national security could be another, but most importantly, the factor that's driving these missions is national glory. Uh, there's a sense of pride attached when Indian astronauts would go into space and be, and will be brought safely back to Earth. So scientific discovery is one, but also adds to our capability as a spacefaring nation. But the experts say that this will only help us if we plan similar missions in the coming years. Let's say India plans to set up an Indian space station or a lunar base, something on the lines of United States of America, which is planning to set up a lunar base to send astronauts into space. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have also spent large amount of money in future human space missions. But as the years go by, the contrast between astronaut and automated space stations will grow even stronger as we get new technologies like virtual reality and artificial intelligence. So the first test begins this May when uh, ISRO will launch its first test flight for Gaganyaan. Thank you so much for watching.